Hey guys, this is my second time record recording this, but we are going to do this anyway. So let's delete this. Uh, where we left off, we add. Uh, oh, by the way, all I did um, was add a jumbotron, which is not difficult at all. Underneath of your center tag, or you can even do this above it. It doesn't matter. Uh, type div class equals jumbotron. A jumbotron is basically just gonna add this in. Um, uh, it's gonna look good uh, if you want. You don't have to add this. It, it just sort of highlights the point of your header. Usually, you put it in your header. Header. You can always put it wherever you want, but I like to put it in my header just to make it look fancy, you know. Um, and I also added this quick little uh, tag saying, or not tag, but just a quick little message saying I will. Uh, I made the website, so it's made by Joshua C. Uh, C is the first initial of my last name. If you guys didn't know this. Um, all right, so next what we're going to type in is, oh no, we're not going to actually get out of the div of the container. We're still going to keep that. In fact, we should write a little comment, which you can do by typing in an exclamation mark and having two hyphens and uh, ending with two hyphens. So let's type in um, container div or something like that, just so we know um, that it's the... Uh, which it's going for so it's like end of container div so we know not to delete this until or not delete it but we know not to write anything out under it so that we can still have it in the container tag so let's type in div class equals row basically we're going to get the row from bootstrap and um, that's already styled for us so that's good next we're going to type in div class equals call um, column sm6 call md Four, and we should type in test and this should s sort it out yeah all right so what this does is there's bootstrap has this amazing thing uh you guys can check this out i already have the page on here and um uh we what we were gonna do is we're calling these columns these columns are really good to have actually and it you want it you want these columns you don't want to skip out on these. You want these columns. It's going to make your uh, website look good. That's what it's going to do. And you really want them. Um, so you can choose from this, from these selections. You can have one, two, three. You can have as many as you want uh, up to, I believe, um, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen or so uh, columns. And uh, these are just basically the styles you can, you have uh, to choose from. I'm choosing the call MD4. So, uh, you know, that's because it divides it into three sections. So, this sector right here, we're going to want to type in uh, div class equals thumbnail. Now, again, with these new fancy words, you know, you guys should know what a thumbnail is if you're from YouTube land or something. A thumbnail, basically, it just sort of highlights a point. Um, you know, it's, it's sort of supposed to attract people's attention or something. It's among those lines. Uh, now I feel like I have to do a Google search. Uh, thumbnail definition. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, thumbnail, a nail of thumb. <laughs> a very small or... A con uh, concise description, representation, or summary. So, it, yeah, basically what I just said. It's like, it, it sort of highlights the general idea, I guess. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, let's type in image. We can do that by typing in IMG. SRC equals images, forward slash Minecraft, forward slash screenshots, screenshot one dot png now you guys are probably saying oh where where is that well i earlier today took screenshots um on my minecraft server i put them in a folder called images and i put that in another subfolder called minecraft so this is the way we this way we can be more organized so you guys might have it differently you, got, you guys might have it just as images okay good um or you could have it under like new or something whatever but i have it underneath of minecraft so we can access our screenshots from there now we're going to type in um div class equals caption so we're going to get a 
bit of uh, space so we can write our text. Um, so let's type in font size equals four. Uh, this way we can, you know, get it to stand out a little bit more. And let's add the bold tag. And let's type in about the server or something like this. And then we can type in br. And we can go ahead and say, welcome to our server website. We hope you enjoy our service. And thanks for visiting. Or something like this. Uh, we have not done anything. Why is this not appearing? What happened? Where did everything go? Um, about the server font, BR, font. Hmm. Why did this have that then? Is that really it? Oh, uh, no, I guess it was just a little glitch. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, we have a little bit of a caption right here. So, we're explaining our server. Uh, now, we can copy and paste this um, three times. And we will have three columns. I'm not going to really go into too much detail on what to write for your server. That's up to you, really. I can't dictate how you're gonna do that but really this is i guess how uh you want it to look like you just want to add some good content to your uh website and make sure that people are attracted to it or something just so that pe it looks professional right here um so that's really all you're gonna want to do right now uh add like welcome to the server and explain your server here you can explain the staff or something here you can explain the donation ranks or the history of the server whatever you want so this is our home page it looks good you know it looks kind of professional and and people are probably going to be like oh this looks like a good server uh professionally coded and so next people are gonna want to go to i don't know where they want to go they may want to go um how much time do we have? We are okay. We've been recording for eight minutes. Um, let's see. I guess what we could do right now is hmm. We could try to set up the shop. No, I don't want to do the API for a really long time. That's going to be much later. Um. I think for now, we can try doing the vote. Yeah, let's do the vote. Um, so let's make a new file. Add a new file. Oh, we need to stop debugging to make a new complete file. Um, now let's add new item, HTML vote.html okay so here we're just going to want to copy and paste this oh, title server site home or something like that just so people know it's your uh, home site or your whatever the server name is and then uh, that they know that they're on the home page uh, let's copy and paste this whole head tag and dump this right here so we can get our CSS and our uh, JavaScript from uh, this page. Now we can type for the vote, uh, vote.html. So now if we go to vote.html, it, it won't say that there's a directory error because there actually is a page called vote.html. Now we gonna, we're going to want to um, add this, our navigation bar. 
Except for this, we're going to not want to have, uh, we don't want to show that the home page is active. Instead, we want to show that the vote page is active. So we can just type in, um, uh, the class li, li class active. So see right there, it shows that we're on this page. And so, there we go. Home, oh, we got to change the home to home, uh, index.html index there we go see it looks good now we can add um i don't know what we should add right now we're still in the container so let's type in um hmm this class equals jumbotron i don't know if we want a jumbotron do we i don't really know i think we would want a jumbo yeah i guess so um Let's see what else we want. Or what we want here. Um, where's the panels? Panels. Hmm. Spot. No. I don't know what to do. Let's group. Hmm. Um. I really don't know what we could do um, for voting. That's kind of a little bit trickier. I guess if we go into here, we can use the. We can use this, yeah. Um, the call MD8. Okay, yeah, so we're going to want to make a row. Um, well, first we want to type in center. H2 or something. Vote for the server. You know, something like that. Something stupid. Uh, vote for the world. Why is this? What the hell happened? Oh. got there we go okay whoa oh okay um this div whoa that means oh because we had a new container okay yeah so let's get rid of or not get rid of let's add a container right there Copy and paste that there. All right, vote for the server. Um, yeah, vote for the server. You know, do br br, and let's do hr. So we have a little divider right here. A vote for the server for in-game items or something like that. You know, we can have a simple. We can we can just use gal listen uh, ga listener, uh, which is a plugin. I'll give you a link to that in the description. <clears throat> Let's see how much time we have right now. Uh, okay, we don't have that much time. Center. So now we can type in... Um, div class equals row. Div class equals call. MD8. Test. Let me see, MD4, okay. Now we're gonna wanna copy and paste this here, MD4, and there we go. See, this should take the majority of the space. Here, here I think we can add the links. Um, yeah, we'll add the links here in the next episode, but let's type in about voting or something like that. And over here, we can type in vote list. Next episode, we're going to have a, um, we're going to be able to have links and a button here and to have a panel. So yeah, stay tuned, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, I really don't want you guys, don't, don't say that this is a difficult end use engine. Please don't use this. Because look at this. This is, this irritates me.
What the hell? This is stupid. You, you don't want this on your website. I used to use Engine, I'll admit it, that was stupid of me. But you don't want to go on to like, you know, blockmc.com and find this template. And then everyone's gonna call you a fuckface because you're so stupid and using Engine. Yes, it is interactive with the websites uh, and the uh, server, but it looks like garbage. So just follow along with what I'm doing and eventually we'll, we, we will have something like engine but it will be amazing because it was made by you and you should feel proud of yourself yeah i know you guys want to feel more pride than you do of having people on so yeah thanks for watching guys comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next episode bye